So I saw some footage yesterday. It was of uh, um, anti-fascist protesters um, and also uh, Trump supporter protesters. And the anti-fascist protesters, uh, some of them were armed and the others were, they had various, um, like, shields made out of half gallon drums or something. So they were sort of standing there with their shields. Uh, they looked like young men. They weren't burly like the uh, a lot of the Trump supporters who are often sort of fairly large men, sort of uh, many kind of overweight and that kind of thing. So it was interesting. But something that I've noticed is when right-wing Trump supporters know that the left, uh, you know, the BLM protesters are not armed, they tend to have a lot more bravado and they tend to be a lot more inclined to be bullying and to be violent. But when when uh, leftists actually have arms and uh, sort of uh, open carrying, which is, which is really meant to be a dissuader, it actually works. <laughs> it appears that it actually works. You would think that it could possibly kind of give uh, people who are open carrying on the far right an excuse to sort of do something, but it it actually seems to have the opposite effect of, um, you know, dissuading them from trying anything. And it's very sad that one has to actually have, it appear, I mean, I might be completely wrong here, but it appears like if you are open carrying at a protest, and I've seen um, black protesters in, uh, I think it was um, in Minneapolis, they were um, open carrying in front of this uh, BLM protest. It seems like you almost have to do that now, is open carry in leftist protests against fascism, which is sort of like really sad that that's the case. It seems like that's what it takes now to stop uh, right-wing, far-right-wing uh, protesters from attacking people. Um, you know, I think, wow, that is so sad. It's so sad, firstly, that uh, people who are protesting against fascism have to be concerned about vehicles running them down or somebody just open firing on on them um, and it also they also have to worry in states where they've actually almost they've made it legal to run protesters down if they're in the way there's a few states that have kind of changed the laws so that they can run protesters down which is absolutely incredible so um, anyway, I'm I want to show you these two clips and you'll see what I mean. And it obviously it gives some sort of parity to the situation in a power sense and uh, actually sort of in some ways keeps the peace actually open carrying, which is really bizarre and kind of sad, but that's where it's at now.